here is true. Only the names have been changed. Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to the art of F.A. Checky on F.A. TV, uh, the one and only uh, art channel that tries to mix it up a little bit with art instruction, uh, fun times with the family, uh, my long uh, <laughs> monologues that you hear, my thoughts, my philosophies as an artist, and uh, the, the enjoyment I have with my children, my life in my home. And uh, so I thought to be a little bit biographical. But before that, I just want to thank everybody. We are getting very close to a thousand subscribers. Some of our videos are really taken off with, you know, close to 5,000 and 6,000 views. So please like. If you wonder what that noise is, that's my dog. <laughs> Inter my, that's my dog interrupting me this time. So anyways, please like, uh, and of course, subscribe, uh, comment, share, tell everybody about us. As I've spoken before, and you can see in the description of lots of these videos, we're giving 50% of ad revenue to charitable causes, the arts being a big one, elephants, the homeless um, helping out. Uh, we have a major homeless problem here in the United States, which is just getting worse and worse every day. And I think all YouTubers need to be focusing a little less on just making money on their YouTube videos for themselves, but to raise money for those who need it. And I think there's no more noble uh, cause uh, than, uh, you know, doing something for someone else, whatever it might be. Not saying that YouTube is the most noble of causes, of course, but, ooh, there's a dog. Uh, but, you know, it's a fun thing to do. It's, it's, it's production, it's social media, it's entertaining, it's uh, promotion, all these different things we can do on social uh, forums for videos. Uh, a little different than Facebook because we can post really long videos, control more of our content, get subscribers, like having your own TV station. And so, um, going back to what I was saying earlier, uh, you know, it's, it's all about the viewer. It's about you guys. You make it happen. You are uh, what make a channel happen. And I thank you so much. Without fans that like the show or subscribers or friends, the show has become really nothing. Um, and you, we're just a startup. We're not, we're, not, we're not in the even the tens of thousands of views yet. Or, you know, we're nowhere near the hundreds of thousands or millions of views necessary to really make a YouTube channel take off. And so in this little intro video, I just wanna, again, thank you. Um, I wanna see what we can do to make the programming more entertaining. But today, I'm gonna get a little biographical, like I said earlier, and show you how I learned to paint again in like two years. Have not painted since I was 15 years old. I'm, you know, that's like 25 years ago or so. I have stopped, I stopped for 25 years. Stopped painting. Uh, I got into college. I went to law school in Colorado. Was a lawyer for a while. Got into working in the insurance industry. And, you know, I just lost sight of what I loved to do when I was younger. Art. I used to paint, draw, build uh, ship mo model ships. And you see my paintings of ships. And so um, this video is a little more uh, kind of walk through my life. And then uh, towards the end, if I can just show you a little bit about... Uh, what I'm working on right now and maybe work, you know, a little, little instruction in here. Maybe I can work a little ASMR. I don't know. But I want to get biographical, tell you about me, tell you um, about my art. Uh, and just want to do this quick intro. Um, I'm going to show you some stuff about my, my father, where I came from, my roots. Uh, I think every artist is not just about their art. It's about the person who created the art. And this is a great way for me to uh, to catalog in these videos and to uh, uh, preserve something about uh, F.A. Checky and his art and his, and his life and his biography as best as I can. I, you know, I, I want you to learn a little bit about me because, um, like I said, it, it's about the art and the artist. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of art out there, but I think what kind of makes some art... Um, you know, more interesting is because we like the artist. You know, we find the artist interesting. There's my elephant painting, by the way. I, we, this is my, like, our little museum right here in the dining room. <laughs> Aside. Okay. Um, I digress. And 
Uh, yeah, just tell you a little bit about me and, and you know, the, the Day in the Life episode we already did. That was like the summer break one. Didn't really not, you know, kick off all that great. We're, we need to still pump that video somehow. All these videos, if they don't have compelling content, what are you going to do? You're not going to watch it. You're not going to tell your friends. I don't know how I'm going to make super compelling content here. But I think it's kind of cool to show you as a, uh, you know, uh, a man who's well into his years uh, with kids, how I just kind of picked up the paintbrush a couple of years back and said, dang it, I want to become a really good painter. And I think I've made a lot of progress. I really do think I've made some progress and other people give me great feedback. The marketing for my paintings have been very good, selling prints, selling originals. A lot of people ask me to paint things for them. And I wish I could just paint, 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 paint. That's so, that is, I love it. It's, it's more than just a hobby. It's a passion and... Uh, you know, it, you know this this whole part of my life is so important. Uh, but you know, my my background, my family are, are of utmost importance. I love my my wife, my kids, and, and and I really appreciate them the most in my life and all the support they give me and allowing me time to be creative. So I thank them. I want to thank my family uh, that raised me out in Colorado, New York, um, my extended family, my friends. So a big thank you to them. I know you all support me. My Facebook friends, I want to say thank you to you. <coughs> and you know who you are. <laughs> you know, I know who you are, and you know who I am. Uh, and you guys probably watch my Facebook videos and my, and my YouTube videos, and you're like, there's that kook, F.A., on there doing his thing. And, uh, you know, it's just so much fun. It's such a joy. I love doing it. Um, you know, there's many aspects to my life as a family man, as a professional, as as a painter and artist and now a YouTuber starting out. Oh my God, OMG. It's what everybody says on Facebook. OMG, OMG, and uh, uh, that's so epic. <laughs> I don't know what type of YouTuber I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be me. And uh, I, I, I get into my farce. I get into my par parodic elements here. But no, this is a different show, I think. Like I said, it's the one and only show that's kind of a, a mix up, a mashup of art, instruction, um, discussion that I try to sp spur with my my long uh, uh, my long monologues. So I want your comments and feedback. And uh, one more time, please like, please subscribe, help us get to where we want to be. Uh, my my solemn promise, solemn promise. I I, I will show when the money rolls in, the checks going out to charity, fifty percent. To charity, I can't do without you guys. I really can't. So, you know, if you can help me get to the viral stage, if you can help me get in uh, as many views as we can, and we get these things successful because you made it possible, and I just provided the content. And so, uh, if you can share this, tell people about it. I greatly appreciate it because I know we could raise a lot of money for people who really need it. And and I and I know we could do it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Uh, no kids around today, so I'm going to go ahead and just take a little segment here and just stop the video and go on to just kind of talk about my life and discuss uh, a little background on good old F.A. Checky. All right. Yep. Well, that's my dad. Kind of dressed him up like girls back then. He, he uh, was a Hungarian immigrant. That's when he was a little boy. Loyos Checky. And <laughs> there's the family. There, that's my dad right here. Um, and their kids and stuff. He immigrated to the United States, I think, in 1971. He was a Hungarian defector. That's like I said, Loyos. Um, his name. And uh, he met my mom out here. She was from New York, Italian family. Uh, you know, so where kind of my origins came from as far as my father's side. I don't have any pictures of my mom right here. I have to look some up. Here's a real dorky picture of me when I was young. Wait, where am I? Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> so, there's I think a visa or something for my dad. And uh, just wanted to show you that to start. And so I am back. I'm back in my office again my studio I guess office and so um oh boy a little stroll down memory lane for me looking at those old paintings and uh I hope I've improved since then that was 
year more than 15 years ago those are some of the first ones i did i can't believe i held on to those i think i think my mom has some i know my aunts have some paintings and so 25 years since i got back into it and i you know i told you i, I wrote this children's book uh netherworld dreams sort of like a take on dante's inferno but he's a kid and uh you can kind of see this uh little drawing I did it's supposed to it's supposed to kind of look like a juvenile drawing because it's told from the perspective of a child who was Dante as a child but look at this I just want to show you this illustration real quick um, only for only in that like a couple years after I wrote that and I published it and so on it never was a huge success but I, I just something I did it was fun I was like I want to paint that opening scene and I have not yet added the character in. <laughs> uh, but there it is. I painted that 25 years. Two, five years. Um, I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to just paint like I did when I was a kid. I didn't just want to do Bob Rossi stuff. And a few months down the road, I was like, okay, let's paint some landscapes. and. Painted this. I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe get to some light. So this is my first year painting. I was like, I need to paint something that looks real cool. Uh, uh, and I tried to improve my skills. I'm like, wow, I feel like I'm getting better. Um, I'm improving. <laughs> you know, I wanted to do something more, you know, Kevin Hill like, or somewhere between Bob Ross and Kevin Hill. Uh, and I was like, I need to do a seascape, and I started messing around with seascapes, and so I started painting this. And that was a stick. Well, that light's kind of cool on the paint. That's not how it looks, but anyway. <laughs> so I painted the seascape, a nocturne, you know, nighttime scene. Kind of get a good look at it right there. And I just kept painting. I kept doing different things, experimenting. I was like, I don't want to look like Bob Ross. I, 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 he was an inspiration as a kid. I love, I love the guy dearly. But I love lots of other great painters. Uh, Ivan Zabsky, for example. Ivan Ivozovsky, a 19th century Russian painter. And so I, I told, last episode, I think I talked about this one back here. Okay. Started doing my own thing. Uh, like this piece here kind of inspired by a lot of the movies i've seen and and just like this 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 I, want, I needed this this primordial start uh to life type of painting just something mysterious not normal nature stuff it needed to look different but then i got back to just some normal nature stuff i was like oh, let's do some more kevin hill style and that painting came out quite nice kind of a majestic mountain up there if you can see it and then I was just like, well, let's do some more surreal looking stuff. There's enough painting. I felt like, I was like, I want to do something that looks like I have a kind of like a, a storybook, you know. Um, I want it to look a little bit surreal, not, you know, I wanted it to be its own thing, you know, just whatever. Not, not necessarily, I wasn't looking at anything. I was like, let's just paint out of my mind and do what I love to do and you know just just I got a whole box you can see this whole box um three very important paintings I want to show you gotta do them in order it's biographical remember we're doing a little biography trip down the good old F.A. mind and soul okay um the three painting this was my first series where they all connected they were it was my first series i did my first year of painting art of fa checky where i said i'm gonna get serious with my art but i want to do something connected to my life and so this is me when i became an adult i i was kicked from the nest just like my son austin who's getting kicked from the nest graduating going to college and became an adult and i entered adulthood and so there i am the stag young stag kind of see it there in the distance this kind of cool waterfall this is my first year like I said this is you know still working on my art but I think I really got this cool portal going I really love the portal aspect of that painting nice little 
<laughs> Still frame there for you. And then I met my wife. Not my first wife. My second one. I was married before. Only for like less than two years. It was a big old mistake. <laughs> and then I, then I met my true love, my wife, Daphne. And, and there you go. There we are. And if you can recall, there's a little tribute to a movie. I'm not going to say which, but you might guess in the comments. Guess which movie that is. Okay. And so there we are. The couple in love. No kids yet. So we're really, really happy. <laughs> just choking out. My kids make me very happy. I mean, we're just uh, happy with each other and, and not stressed and things like that. We're, we're happy. With children are the greatest happiness. Greatest happiness. Um, in any relationship, I think they are anyway. Um, and there's the family. You can see Callie and Matthew there. You know, there's Matthew, sort of. You can see him next to me. The big stag there. See Callie, the baby there. Mama, Daph, and Austin. And so here we are in the forest, living tranquility. That was my first series. I thought that was really fun. Uh, I posted those up on my Facebook page, page yeah, Facebook page, Art of F.A. Checky, and they are a triptych, uh, a tribute to my family, my life, um, you know, and so you can make me cry. <laughs> and, and as my art progressed, um, you know, just got into different other things, got really into um, doing takes on Ivazovsky and adding modern elements like this, this piece here, but with modern sailing ships, you can see the light on the ship. A lot of people love that piece. More surreal, like, uh, kind of more surreal seascapes like this. And so in like two years, I was like, okay, when I need to do lots of different things, you know, because in the beginning, you know, I was like, you're doing Bob Ross-esque stuff, you know, and this is one of my first seascapes, just a horrible, horrible attempt at doing a seascape, one of my first. This guy came out okay. You can kind of see where I came. And then started practicing more and more. Felt like I was getting better. And oh yeah, a lot of people like this piece. So that was one of my good first attempts in the first three. See this kid's getting better at it. You know, more colorful. Um, you know, so this first year, some more first year stuff and trying out different things and whatnot. Not the best of my work, but you know, not bad. This is a nice monochrome, monocolor. Can't, it's so monochrome, so light is actually getting messed up over here. Okay, there, there you go. See this piece right here? This is very monochrome. See, you know, it's fun to do different, different things. Just single color. I was just that was just basically two colors, uh, raw umber and and white. Maybe a little bit of black to darken it. Um, here was another horrible attempt for a seascape. Ugh! That was like first year in the beginning, first few months. This was kind of a fun one I did uh, as well. This is a cool painting, never sold. Uh, the buyer never uh, came for it. I think he ran out of funds. But something real scary happened, if you pay attention. Maybe I should just do a YouTube episode. You like scary stuff? The painting got haunted. You can see in that front window. See that front window? I'll just leave it right there. There's a face. Who the heck? What on earth possessed this painting? This thing just appeared on here. Never saw it happen. There's a face in there. I swear. OMG. OMG. Let's take a look at that again. Twilight Zone. There's a face in that building. I don't remember doing it. It was just there. It just happened. It just happened. It wasn't intentional. P painting up. It's a haunted painting. Stuff like that happened. And then, a good friend of mine, Joe, and on Facebook, he's like, oh, paint this. I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. No, I've never seen anything like that. I'm still working on this one to finish it up. Monsters playing poker instead of dogs playing poker. I still gotta detail this thing out, but it's it's all laid out, it's all blocked in. Just gotta do the fine details on that. That's gonna be for Halloween this year. It's gonna be a fun episode. We'll go over that one and prove it. 
make it look real good. Use some of my new skills and make it look better. Um, some more of my, uh, a little bit of impressionistic. I like doing a little impressionistic. I would call this more impressionistic, but you know, I like to experiment my first year. And so I did this piece, very colorful, very kind of weird looking cloud. The brain, I call it the brain cloud. <laughs> so I wanted something to look so strange. It needed to look strange, bizarre, a brain cloud. Maybe it's a new explosion that we don't know. <laughs> And so just walk you through my art and show you some things, you know. Um, people like the lighthouse piece a lot. Um, this one here, kind of a cool piece. So, you know, my first and second year, you know, second year I spent just doing seascapes. And I this, this came at the uh, start of my second year right here. Very first painting my second year that I finished. Sec the year two, the art of F.A. Checky, seascapes, sea scenes, scenes that are maritime. And it kind of culminated with this uh, piece. It's very popular. It's selling prints right now. It's doing quite well. Um, people really love this kind of more 3D piece, 3D-esque. And then this one here uh, behind me, uh, a lot of people like that one as well. Spent a lot of time on it. Had to look like something like a video game. I wanted it to look like a video game like type scene and i might have a few other paintings here in the closet to show you i don't know first acrylic first full acrylic piece i ever did is right here oh, there we go just want to do an acrylic seascape piece i did for mother's day my first year painting this was, was a piece for my mom i still got to give it to her <laughs> that was from the first year still you know still learning after 25 years how to paint again and, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's just kind of how, how things go. And this culmination uh, for my first year in terms of landscape, art, and uh, things like that. This one came up quite well. A lot of people wanted to buy this. I haven't sold it yet. Uh, a lot of people like, like that piece. I don't know if video does it justice. Pictures seem to do so much better. So... Just a lot of walk through stuff I've done and hope you know uh, what else to show you. I'll just show you that. And you just kind of see up on the wall just things I worked on. This th we're now into year three of the art of FA Checky. Yeah, uh, big part of my life, family being the biggest part, but art, art is a huge part of my life and I love doing it. And uh, yeah, I went to law school, became a lawyer. Whoop de doo. <laughs> it's not it's not all it's cracked up to be, but hey, it, it pays the bills, you know. I have a profession. Um, I'm not just an artist that lives off of his art. I encourage all kids to go to school, but I also encourage all kids to follow their dreams and uh do what makes you happy as well. And uh you know, it's just you know, it life's short, it is. Uh, and and I love to see kids follow their passions. My son Austin, he's graduating, going to college, learning about social media marketing. Marketing he wants to do YouTubing and and Snapchatting, social media marketing, his makeup stuff. I hope to, to I want to really do an episode with my son Austin as far as doing the makeup thing. I want to do a Bob Ross style makeup painting on his face. I thought that would be fun. And so that's it. I just want to talk about my life and you know here I am, you know just a, just getting older but feeling younger uh art makes me feel young it really does it, it it energizes me in ways i just i wish i could it's almost ineffable i can't even describe it creating and and uh, be, being creative and 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 doing something that makes you feel like you're just like a god almost you know you're creating in such a compassionate and passionate and any which way, your feelings, expression, and I, and I love doing it. Um, but, you know, first generation on my dad's side, you know, Hungarian immigrant, here I am now. Living the dream, boys and girls and men's and women's. <laughs> Living the dream. Living the dream. Look at this Pokemon shirt. <laughs> uh, I love that you're watching. We're going to do a little painting here in just a second. But first, let's uh, light the Bob Ross candle. Like I said, I've got to light the Bob Ross candle, and I keep it over here. Little tradition, little ritual that I do. You probably see good old Bob in there a little bit. 
Um, we gotta tilt the candle so I can get it lit. It's just a tech technique. Uh, but here you can see in the light. Thank you for honoring us. Yes. Uh, you know, you know, I don't want to paint like Bob Ross. I don't not not really. I want to do my own thing. Um, I have to admit, it, it, Bob Ross uh, is more inspirational than anything else. But I don't want to be that type of artist. Uh, but he inspired me to do art, and that's so important. Uh, that he, he was a teacher. He was an, an inspiration to people, and that's so cool. Uh, what I want to do for you, if I if I can teach, if I can inspire, if I can draw you to my art, if, I want to get people. I just want to get people interested in art, whether to be an artist or to look at art or whatever. Art is so important. People have lived for it. They have died for it. Okay, so let's go do a little painting. Okie doke. And my crooked angle there. Let's fix that a little bit. <laughs> you amateur, F.A., you amateur, total amateur. Oh, uh, yes, of course I'm an amateur, but who cares? <coughs> um, There's a piece that we've been working on about my lighting setup. I don't know, let's just paint a little bit. It's, it's not always about being grandiose, you know? It's just about living in the moment as the cliche goes and so i got some very basic colors that are still going on here but what happens as i want to point out something as the uh, paint starts to um age on there uh you can see as you see on here it's uh some of it's still wet but some isn't okay um you have to go back and apply a little bit more so i'm gonna get a little naples uh, i love this naples yellow and so I'm going to put a little bit more on there. And I have an even lighter one. And I got some whites on here and stuff too. But um, I'm going to get a little titanium white on here. We're doing highlights right now. I just want to talk about highlights, low lights, um, just things of that nature. Uh, low lighting, uh, which, like, it, it's kind of like shadowing, I guess. Um, it's where the light dims, it's where it kind of. It loses its brilliance and it gets darker because um, light as it travels, you know, it, it illuminates certain things and then it could dim and then go into various frequencies because uh, that's what it is. Light's a frequency and all that. Um, and uh, what color was that? It was Van Dyke Brown. Got some burn under. I'm going to pull a Van Dyke Brown in there. You should already be prepped, but we're just going, we're just going solo going rogue today going total rogue no kids around just just good old fa and himself me myself and i having a great time a little lamp black we'll need for some uh other aspects of the painting so we got some colors on here that will work for what we're working on i'm thinking we might need where it at where it at where it at where it at um a little bit of crimson Put a little crimson on there. Because you guys are like looking at me like, why isn't he prepped already, that loser? Yep. It wouldn't be as fun if I didn't tell you the colors. I'm going through the colors right now. Okay? So just chill. Um, and this beautiful uh, cadmium scarlet. Okay? I'm going to use that. I think we need a little orange in there too. And I got some uh, orange yellow, okay? Oh, this dirty canvas. I have not cleaned it, and I'm not going to until I'm done. Maybe we'll just do an episode and clean canvases. Yeah, mm -hmm, I reckon. You guys are probably like looking at me, looking at me like, what a weird dude. All right, that's the Mountain Dew talking. <laughs> Brought to you not by Mountain Dew. By the way, not right.
that's it. I just want to do a little time lapse painting there at the end. Next time we'll do some more instruction, but I really want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, for everything. We actually, in the course of making this video, did hit 1,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for uh, everything, watching, subscribing, supporting the channel. Um, that was so great that we hit this milestone uh, during this video. Uh, the next one, we'll do something special too to commemorate this uh, milestone for uh, FATV and the art of FA Checky. But again, thank you. Please like still. Please subscribe. Uh, please comment. Please share. Tell everybody about us. We have a long way to go. As we hit monetization, again, 50%, 50%, half of all the money we raise from the channel, from ads and everything else, are gonna, it's gonna all go to good causes. So we cannot do it without you guys. But again, thank you, and I, I, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, be the artist you are meant to be, or be the person you are meant to be. Follow your hopes, your dreams, and uh, you know, make your life uh, exactly the way that you feel you wanted it to be and I have a little girl running in here and wants to say, oh oh she's got games on her yes she's, look how much games master she's so you want to say bye to everybody bye ah! <laughs> okay so yeah, right uh, so this is Callie. I didn't get to show you yet, so I'm so happy she Daddy, came I in. Daddy, I finished Ooh, games. She got games. She got games. Uh, um, so she wasn't. She. I talked about it Look earlier. Spin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's really excited about the game she got. But <laughs> anyways, was, at least I got to bring her in here. You'll get to see more of the kids um, as we do stuff. They want to do some DIY stuff, I believe. Got to make a trip to the old uh, art store to pick up some things for them. So there'll be some more exciting entertainment uh, on the art of F.A. Checky's F.A. TV. I thought I heard someone at the door now. I'm like, wow, right here at the end of the video. But anyways, yes, uh, finally, uh, you know, as I was saying, be the artist you were meant to be or the, what you want to be in life following your hopes and your dreams. Because in the end, uh, don't look back and regret anything. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing this. Because if anything, when I'm uh, long gone and my kids are growing up, they watch the channel and be like, hey, that was dad doing this crazy FA TV thing. And, you know, that was a lot of fun when we were kids. And so this is a uh, video uh, uh, journal of part of my life. And so if you want to get into YouTube, that's another thing that you can do. Um, and it's a big thing of what I'm doing. And so I'm wanting to share... Uh, truly, I want to share this life with y'all, and I will definitely see you next time. Please watch as many episodes as you can. Your views will help get us to where we want to be, and again, subscribe, uh, as I truly thank y'all for doing that, and goodbye now. See you later.